Hello again boys and girls, my name is Delmo and I'm the mythology dude. In fact, I'm really a mythology teacher from Romania, land of vampires and werewolves, fearsome warriors and awesome witches. I have studied in Transylvania, home of the real Dracula and dragons from Harry Potter, with a major in myths and folklore, especially those in Eastern Europe. I have a YouTube channel in Romanian language with more than 500 videos on mythology and creatures. And with this new channel in English, I want to make some light regarding the stories and folk tales from unknown lands like Romania, Serbia or Poland land of the witcher of course many of the hollywood movies tv series anime and so on are based on mythological creatures ancient history and folklore from this area of the world so i'm thinking we should start with the obvious the old dacian kingdom and the wolf warriors imagine a huge stronghold deep in the mountains with temples like no other a chain of fortresses like you never seen before guarded by ancient towers and warriors wearing wolf masks couple of priests are making sacrifices to the sky god in the center of the temple area it seems like the opening scene of a very good hollywood movie right but you can see and touch all of this if you will begin this journey with me. Everybody is speaking nowadays about Rome or Athens, Sparta or ancient Memphis or Thebes, but we have some of the greatest ancient stronghold in this part of Eastern Europe. This is Sarmi Segetuza, the place of ancient kings and wolf warriors. This can be compared with a ceremonial center or city citadel deep in the mountains. In fact, there are six Dacian fortresses in Orestie mountains built around the 1st century BC as a complex defense system making use of the impressive natural landscape to serve as protection for the empire's capital, Sarmisegetuza, against Roman conquering. The Romans needed two wars stretching along seven years to conquer these defenses. The huge fortresses on the top of the mountain once formed the heart of the Dacian Empire and represent a complex of citadels and settlements placed in the strategic manner and designed to form a strong defense. Remains of this remarkable construction are still visible and well preserved today and illustrate construction techniques dating from the classical era and the late European Iron Age. If you are passionate about ancient history like me, let's explore some more fascinating details. The six Dacian fortresses were included in UNESCO Heritage List in 1999, mainly because they form a unique mix of techniques and concepts of military architecture and represent outstanding examples of defense systems. Hidden in the dense forests of the Carpathians mountain, Sarmisegetuza Regia is one of the oldest, most surprising and mysterious historical attractions in Romania. The capital of ancient Dacia, this site was the core of the Dacian defensive system before the Roman conquest from the 2nd century AD. Sarmisegetuza Regia is the sacred site of the ancient Dacians people and the most important Dacian site discovered until now in Romania. Its remote location increased its strategic, political, military, economic and most of all spiritual importance. But who? were the Dacians people, who were the wolf warriors. The Dacians were the ancient Indo-European inhabitants of the cultural region of Dacia, located in the area near the Carpathian Mountains and west of the Black Sea. They are often considered a subgroup of the Thracians. This area includes mainly the present-day countries of Romania and Moldova, as well as parts of Ukraine, Eastern Serbia, Northern Bulgaria, Slovakia, Hungary and Southern Poland. The Dacians and the related Cete spoke the Dacian language, which has a debated relationship with the Thracian language and maybe a subgroup of it. Dacians were somewhat culturally influenced by the neighboring Scythians and by the Celtic invaders of the 4th century BC. 
For the Dacians, the wolf was a powerful deity, or it maybe had religious significance. Some scholars think that the Dacians might have called themselves wolves, or once the same with wolves, or that they draw their name from a god or a legendary ancestor who appeared as a wolf. As was the case in other societies, young members of the community went through an initiation, perhaps up to a year, during which they live as a wolf. Comparatively, Hittite laws refer to fugitive outlaws as wolves. But I think the main theory is the existence of a ritual that provides one with the ability to turn into a wolf. Imagine that. Such a transformation may be related either to lycanthropy itself, a widespread phenomenon but attested especially in the Balkans Carpathian region, or a ritual imitation of the behavior and appearance of the wolf. To become formidable warriors, they would assimilate behavior of the wolf, wearing wolf skins during the ritual. Traces related to wolves as a cult or as a totems were found in this area since the Neolithic period, including the Vinca culture artifacts, wolf statues and rudimentary figurines representing dancers with a wolf mask. If you are a tourist in Romania, this chain of fortresses are worth visiting. The ancient site reached its greatest development under King Decebalus, before the Roman conquest from the early 2nd century AD. The victorious Romans extended the fortification on a surface three times larger than before but abandoned the site after building their new capital. Very few ruins remain today from the ancient Dacian capital, and many questions remain unanswered. The archaeological research from the 20th century brought to light three distinct structures – the sacred area, the fortifications and the civil housing area. The discovered artifacts, water supply systems, ceramics, thousands of iron objects indicate the life of a flourishing ancient community. There are some very fascinating archaeological artifacts as well, including an enigmatic sundial known as the Andesit Sun. Many of these artifacts discovered at the site are now housed at the Deva History Museum in Deva. You can still see fragments of the fortification walls from Roman time and a 200 meter segment from the paved road that linked this part to the sacred area. The ruins of seven temples, two circular and five rectangular and one monumental altar for sacrifices shed some light on the rich spiritual life of the Dacians people. From the 2nd century BC until the 1st century AD, the Kingdom of Dacia ruled this part of the world. Before Dacia became a province of the Roman Empire, Sarmisegetusa Regia served as the center of the kingdom's religion, military and politics. The city was built on top of a 4,000 foot tall mountain hidden deep in the Carpathians. Even to this day, accessing the ruins is relatively difficult. Serving as the Dacian capital for well over a century, Sarmisegetusa Regia reached its zenith during the reign of the legendary king Decebalus, that became some kind of legend for his people. So young ones, there you have it. The ancient history of the wolf warriors and their stronghold deep in the mountains, this was Dacia, long ago, in Sarmisegetusa Regia, the city capital of kings. And remember, until the next time, I'm the Metology Dude, please share and subscribe if you liked our video.